Greetings. Thanks so much for stopping by. My name's Lisa, and I am here to help you discover devotional practices to help you stay connected to God. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about daily devotions. Uh, maybe you've heard how important it is to do a daily devotion in order to keep your relationship with God fresh and nurtured and growing. Uh, the problem with daily devotions is that there are so many options. You know, what is a daily devotion? And so what we tend to do is we head out to the bookstore or we even maybe from our own local congregation, uh, we find a book to read. And there are tons and tons of resources. And I have spent way too much time trying to figure out what is the perfect daily devotion. Uh, there is no perfect daily devotion. Uh, you need to find a practice that works for you. And, and actually, there are some good things about using a book like this. Uh, the good thing is that it does get you into a daily habit. It's usually in kind of a bite size uh, time, and so it's easy on your time. And uh, there's usually a little piece of scripture, there's usually a little piece of prayer, and, and it can be helpful. It can be especially helpful if you're new to faith or if you're young in your faith. And so there they're okay. Daily devotions are okay, the, but there are some problems with them, and, and we need to acknowledge that. So um, daily devotions can be more about somebody else's encounter with God through Scripture than your own encounter. You can have an encounter with God. You need to have encounters with God. And so if you just keep relying on devotion, you, you may not get there. Uh, the other thing is it can keep us kind of at a distance from God because, you know, we're reading something in, instead of having an experience. And so that can be problematic. Another thing is that devotions can be more knowledge-driven or emotion-driven than scripture-driven and encounter-driven. And so we want something that is going to bring transformation in our life and uh, will promote encounter and engagement. And so is your daily devotion doing that? That's a great question to ask to evaluate what you're currently using or what you might want to use. Another is um, daily devotions usually include a prayer. Uh, maybe it's one sentence or something short. And uh, we need to develop our own prayer life. Uh, reading somebody, a pre-written prayer, a, ri a prayer written by somebody else can be helpful, but it shouldn't be the only prayers that we are offering. Uh, you can pray, you can develop a, a prayer life, and so do it. Uh, the, the other is that we can become dependent on always having an expert with us as we go to God or as we go to the scripture. And um, you don't need an expert. Uh, God wants to meet you exactly where you are in your faith journey. You can have an encounter with God right now. And so they're helpful, but um, they're not essential. That's important to remember. And so what do we do? Do we, do we dump devotions altogether? Not, not necessarily. Uh, some folks say, yes, I'm going to dump my devotion altogether and I'm just going to read the Bible. I'm just going to uh, go into the scriptures. And, and that can be very powerful to read the scriptures for yourself and to, to listen for God through the scriptures for yourself. And there are some, some wonderful ways to do that. And I'll, I'll link an article uh, from my blog about that in, in the uh, notes section here. Um, but... It can also be intimidating. It can also be lonely. Uh, what, what do you do if you don't understand? And, and so there's got to be um, middle ground. There's got to be a middle place um, for many of us. We need um, an encounter with scripture, but we also need some guidance. And so for me, where I found that is with a uh, 
devotional practice called Pray As You Go. Uh, Pray As You Go, is you can find it on the web. They have a website or you can download the app. They have a wonderful mobile app. And uh, it is a devotional practice that um, comes to us from uh, Jesuit media. And so some of you may be saying, oh my goodness, though that's from the Catholics. Uh, and maybe you're Catholic and you're going, yay, something from the Catholics. And maybe you're Protestant and you're going, well, I don't know, it's from the Catholics. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I am not Catholic. And uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful for Catholics and for Protestants because it is so scripture driven. And... Uh, and we share that in common. And so, so it's a good, good thing. And so each session of Pray As You Go begins with some kind of bell ringing or chiming, which uh, is followed by music. And this helps you uh, get into a head place and a heart place to have an encounter with God. And uh, it's, it's peaceful. And I, I need peaceful in my life. And so it starts with this. And then uh, there's a scripture reading. And the scripture reading is followed by a series of questions. And it's not like a quiz. Um, it is, uh, it's more about exploring the scripture. It's more imaginative. And, and these reflection questions just help you to go deeper into what you just heard. And so they'll ask a question, and then there'll be a pause for you to have a conversation with God, to listen or to talk. Uh, I, I never write during my Pray As You Go session. Uh, it's, it's really just more about being than accomplishing. And so then after you've had some questions and some reflection time, then they read the scripture again. There might be a closing comment and a closing blessing. It's the same format, six days a week. And it, it, has, it has been a beautiful, wonderful uh, place of encounter and engagement for me. Uh, I, I like it because it is peaceful, it is uh, meditative, and I need that in my very busy, very loud, very full life. I like it because the questions spark my imagination. Uh, they're very open-ended and exploratory, and uh, that helps me to go deeper into the scriptures. And, and there are times when the question will be, be very challenging and um, and that's good for me, too. I need that, too. And so uh, they're open-ended. I, I like that the questions are very, very open-ended. It also helps me feel connected to the greater community of faith. I don't feel so alone and so isolated in doing my devotion time, you know, just me and my Bible. And, and I like that. Uh, some of the music is... Uh, from different countries and in different languages. And, and so it just reminds me about um, the, the body of Christ all over the world. And, and I find that uh, delightful and hopeful. Um, I, I like that it takes me many places in the scriptures. And so I'm not just going back to my same favorite scripture passages again and again and again. It, it stretches me that way. And so I appreciate that. Um, I tend to use it. I, I settle into a comfortable chair and, um, and just have a peaceful moment, you know, kind of a be still and know that I am God moment. Uh, some folks like to use it on their morning commutes. Uh, some folks like to use it while they're on a walk. Some folks like to use it during a, a work break during the day. And so it's very flexible as to when you can use it and where you can use it because of the mobile app, which is free, 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 which is amazing. You don't have to go out and buy a book. It's always there. It's always free. 
Uh, it's about 10 to 13 minutes in time. And usually after that 10 to 13 minutes, uh, I am ready to pray even more or do some spiritual journaling. And uh, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful resource. And so, uh, so give it a try. Give it a try. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. Um, also, if you have a spiritual practice, uh, a devotional practice that is really helpful for you, I would love to hear what you're doing and uh, why you find it so helpful. And, uh, and I'd also like to know if your spiritual practices have changed as you have matured in your faith. Uh, I know mine have, and so so maybe you are looking for something at the level of faith that you are now, and pray as you go would be a great fit for you. And so thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing from you. God bless you as uh, you seek a deeper life with God.